Hello friends, in this video I will show you how to create a horizontally scrolling tab layout in Sketchware. Now here this is a tab layout in which there are many tabs and when I click on these tabs it changes the color of the screen according to the tab selected. So I will show you how to create this in Sketchware. In Sketchware first we have to go to library and switch on app compact and design. Now in the view area we have to add a linear horizontal here this is linear 2 which is a linear horizontal and this is contained in a linear 1 which is linear vertical. So I will create a tab layout programmatically and add it to linear 2. In on create event first I define a tab layout for writing tab layout we have to write this complete thing android.support.design.widget.tablayout so every time we have to write tab layout we have to write this complete thing so I have defined a new tab layout called tab layout by writing new tab layout this so this will define a new tab layout with this name now for this tab layout I have set the tab mode by writing tab layout dot set tab mode to tab layout dot mode underscore scrollable so when I set the tab mode to mode underscore scrollable the tab layout will become scrollable after this I have added tabs to the tab layout yeah, this is the first tab tab layout dot add tab tab layout dot new tab dot set text sunday so this is the first tab with text sunday then the second tab has text monday and like this I have added seven tabs with names or days of a week so here I have added seven tabs to the tab layout after this I have added the tab layout to linear 2 so linear 2 will now display the tab layout now after that I have add I have used add on tab selected listener for the tab layout and in this listener I have added a new tab layout dot on tab selected listener so this listener contains three methods one is public void on tab selected tab layout dot tab tab so here this is on tab selected method with a tab called tab as variable and it contains another two methods the second method is on tab reselected tab tab and on tab unselected tab layout dot tab tab so I'll just scroll down here so here it contains the second method on tab reselected tab layout dot tab tab and on tab unselected tab layout dot tab tab now I have done nothing in on unselected and on reselected method both these methods on unselected and reselected are empty Now the first method which is on tab selected here I have used a switch I have used tab this tab dot get text dot to string so I get the text of the tab and convert it to string and use it as switch so in this switch the first case is Sunday so when tab dot get text dot to string is equal to Sunday then I set the background color of linear 1 to color dot red so this means that in tab layout when I click on Sunday the background color of linear 1 will change to red now after that I break this case which is Sunday then there is this next case which is Monday so 
the case Monday means when tab dot get text dot two string is equal to Monday then I set the background color of linear one to color dot parse color hash a a d d a b so this is the color which appears when I click on Monday and like this I have added several cases one different case for each of the tabs like when the tab is Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday or Saturday when any of these tabs are selected I change the color of linear one accordingly after that I close the switch then I close this on tab selected method and if we have to do something when tab is reselected then we can add it here in on tab reselected method when we reselect a tab we can use this on tab reselected method and if when we have to unselect any tab then we can use this on tab unselected method we can put our quotes here or here so that's all is required for creating an app bar sorry a tab layout like this so thank you very much for watching this video